today I'm going to show you how to play chromatic scale on diatonic harmonica. Uh, it's possible, but it needs uh, a little bit of practice. Uh, to play it on uh, the middle register uh, from 4 to 7 hole, uh, you would need uh, playing techniques uh, like bending and overbending. Today I'm going to focus on the second one, overbending. Uh, that is a little bit more challenging for people to learn uh, but it's often because people are afraid of making mistakes and learning this uh, technique needs a lot of mistakes a lot of bad sounds and it's all what it's about uh, you start on sixth hole you find your sixth hole on, on her C harmonica These are normal notes on blow and draw and to get over blow you uh, blow in your harmonica but getting a different sound so you you are getting a sound of uh, B flat so exactly the same like like seven hole on harmonica of B flat this note is very useful in every harmonica solo if you play blues or jazz or uh, country everything uh, that's why you you would probably need it but not everyone plays over blows if uh, after a long practice it still doesn't work for you just leave it alone but uh, if you want to start, try these three methods I'd like to show you. So first one is you try to block the reed inside by first uh, inhaling, then exhaling her, uh, air. This is the easiest way to get overblow because when you inhale, uh, the reed that is playing, uh, when you exhale is blocked and, and then you have to block this reed to, uh, to play uh, this sound, this overblow. So, First advice, it's easier to get overblow if you draw first, then blow. My second advice about, over, uh, about overblows is try to move your harmonica a little bit. Try to move it up and down. Try to find out what happens. When you try to do overblow, you push everything, your jaw, your tongue, a little bit up to do uh, to make less space in in there so these are all slight moves and you may not see it in in video but you just try to push that's how you get this pressure needed to uh, to play over over blue. Uh, if it won't help you, try to maybe turn your harmonica upside down and then play. Sometimes works. It's uh, this technique is uh, is so special that sometimes very very special. Uh, exercises are needed to together but how do you know if you are close to get overblow when you blow and your read uh, doesn't make a sound it means you are close to get overblow so just 
try just uh, try to find uh, similar positions of mouth, jaw and tongue experiment just to get this this sound when you hear it for first time probably it, it will gonna be very short you will know that this sound is is something different then you have to find this position one more time and you have to keep it for a little bit longer when you're there you just repeat 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 this process over and over again uh, over blows are hard to practice because you have to hear what you're playing and it's not very nice sound to hear but after after long practice you're gonna get over blow that sounds long and and clean Okay, so third method is try to give it a little bit of heat from from your from your diaphragm. So you create a little bit more of air pressure and try 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 to blow. Uh, if you found any of these methods useful, just let me know. Uh, if you found your way to learn overblows, that's good. Uh, I have to finish the video because my battery is low. So thank you and see you next time. Tell me what you want to see on this channel next time.